NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. Fielded right around the 8. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Jameis going to look to throw right away. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. Well, this defense for the Bills, they were excellent last week in the win over the Chargers. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On third down, Winston. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. Taking it about the 16. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Off play action. Allen, they'll roll him out right. He's got a man complete. 20. And he is into the end zone. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Taken from about the 12. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out of a little extra emotion. Taking it right down Broadway. The 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara. With career touchdown number 96, he joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Saints are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Looks good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 31 yards there and a first down. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want the left tackle. If you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage. You got a chance to rumble. 
good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. A big play there on the catch and run. 54 yards. Those wide receiver screens like that, isn't that what they said they wanted to implement more in the game plan this week? They certainly did because they felt like they had an advantage with their receivers out in open space. They thought they could make the first guy miss like a punt returner and then pick up nice blocking. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bills have moved out in front. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken from about the 12. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Throwing on second and long. Winston, he'll find his tight end. It's Adam Troutman. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. The Bills bring out a couple of extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. Winston. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. And this will be taken at the 13. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. On second down, Cook. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On play action, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen going right back to Knox and again a completion. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. 
But a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. On second and seven, Allen got his man complete over the middle. It's Cook. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 24-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Back to the ground, Cook. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. His 14th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21-7. Here's the Bills kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. 82 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. First down, Winston. There's Chris Olave. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. The Saints at 6-4 and four now on the year. And they were losers their last time out. Trying to get back in the win column, but obviously not an easy task here in a hostile environment. Yeah, always tough to win away from home. But sometimes what you do is you use these types of games as bonding experiences and carry that into the contest. On second down, Kamara. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. That's about as good as a linebacker can diagnose that play, isn't it? It certainly is, and what he did really well is that while he was diagnosing, he got his feet in motion without actually going anywhere and taking a false step that he had to make up later. He read it, got his feet in motion, and then he just took off and made the play. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he is going to have the Saints first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. What a time for his first catch as they get the conversion on fourth. So now following the roll of the dice, they've got a first and 10 inside the 35. Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. 
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jameis to throw it. Drives it left side and finds Alave. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Winston. That is caught inside the five. And the Saints are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Kamara is into the end zone for a Saints touchdown. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Lux with the extra point. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't see. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Bills. First half, and the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, that is certainly a deflator right there defensively. Their guys just came off of a touchdown drive. They're back in the game, and then bam, they give up a touchdown one play later. How about that? And the momentum, which seemingly had shifted the other direction, thought we might be seeing a comeback. <laughs> that momentum right back the other way. Well, that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there. The defense is supposed to help their offense not give up another touchdown. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. On second and nine, Winston. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The Saints on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and nine to throw Winston. And he fires one that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Unfortunately for him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week it was interception after interception, and here we go again. We actually quit counting last <laughs> week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, all right, because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right. It felt like a matter of time, and you've got to think the guys on defense, they couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Allen out to his left. And he's got his big tight end here. 
And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. They'll run with Cook. And he'll get maybe a couple before he's taken down as that will take us to the two-minute warning. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he will score. Touchdown. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Bills take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Taken from about the 12. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Jameis now on first down. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Here's Winston. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick, and the Bills are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Open man complete downfield to Davis. And all the way home for a bit. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Bills are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. On first and 10, Winston. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Only needing two yards on second down. Winston now from the 50. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A driving for the goal line, but he's marked down short. And with no timeouts, no chance to get the field goal unit out there. 
The frustration going to set in as that is going to be how this first half will come to a close. Bills with the lead and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here as they begin their first series of the second half. I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. On play action, Allen. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cameron Jordan, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the campaign. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They will find Davis. That's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. He rifles one that's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. A gain of three, second down. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Get it out to midfield. Looks like he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. 74 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Again, it's Cook. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. 
He finds that he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way home for third touchdown of the game, number 19 on the year. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, C.D., and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but... And, oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Tredavious White with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick. Some woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half, and for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Pulls it in at the 13. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Play action now. Winston rolling to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That was Jordan Poyer, the safety in for the sack. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, but oh, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. Winston to throw for it on four. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And he is going to score. It's a game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles. It's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there. And this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping they're holding a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. This is taken just shy of the 10. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> All coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. 
129 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he is going to have a Saints first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. Winston now to throw on first down. That's complete to Troutman right side. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 44, Winston complete. Smith has it. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 35-yard line. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. But we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. A first down throw for Winston. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Throw left side complete. That's Thomas. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point, where we're at in the fourth quarter, with how wide this advantage is, for this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Now Winston. Touchdown! Chris Olave, a five-yard touchdown. And the Saints get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Lutz good on the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. This has really just been a lopsided affair. What a performance they put on, and now they get the football back here with a big lead in the fourth quarter. And on the pass, we might be discussing dinner plans, talking about steak and sushi, whatever the case is, CD. This ball game is pretty much well in the books. Yeah, we really could have started bringing up dinner a long time ago if we wanted to, partner. And I think a few of the guys out in the field already making plans for the evening. Allen off the play fake. 
And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over. He's got a man complete. And he'll take it into the end zone. Two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Bills add on to their lead and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. Taken from about the 12. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 17 there in a New Orleans first down. Winston. Alave holds it in. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory, right at the 40. Winston now. And that'll be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long. And that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. To throw on second and 10, Winston. And now here is another interception. Tredavious White with a pick. Pass the 20. And he is going to score. It's a pick. Bass on for the extra point. And his kick is good, and flags fly as well. Some frustration showing through right now. This is going to be a roughing call. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Winston to Thomas, and it's a New Orleans first down. Here's Winston. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick, and the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. 
But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. And he's got it. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdowns. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. This is caught out in the right flag. And he'll be out of bounds well short of the goal line, so the attempt at the fake extra point unsuccessful. able to rein this one in. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. To throw again on second down, Winston. And that is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. And now here's another interception. Jair Elo makes a pick. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but... I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Saints come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over.